This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Eric. And I'm Nicole with your morning announcements for Monday, June 15th. To start off the show with a message from Mrs. Cannon. Good Monday morning, Cathedral. Well, here we are, the last Monday of classes for the school year. Last week, with a very busy time, uh, we are sending thanks to the many who helped to continue to make graduation events fun and full of good memories. Friday at Michelangelo's, thank you to the grad committee of both the staff and the students who decorated and made the evening so special. The poster design for the graduation dinner dance was beautiful. Everyone who was in attendance, the ladies looked beautiful, the young men looked handsome, all dressed up for the special occasion. It was certainly very special. With much appreciation to the grad committee under the direction of Mrs. Buckley and the very efficient assistance at the reception uh, table on Friday from Mrs. Tambasco and Mrs. Simpson. All the work to make grad so special from our ceremony and then including into our dinner dance Big thank you goes out to Mrs. Lisko, Ms. O'Keefe, Mr. Tassoni, Mrs. Vanderlind, and Mrs. Van Veen. Thank you for all the planning beforehand from Mrs. Brotherston and Mrs. Siapana to the Grad Awards Committee chaired by Mr. Felice and Mr. Chafe. Our very consistent and very able photographer Friday night, Mr. McNorgan, he was kept very busy. And our videographer, Mr. Trabuco. A lot of people put in to make sure that the evening was very special. So thank you so very much to everyone. Thank you to the teachers who came out to join us and to the vice principals for their assistance and support. The student grad committee, thank you for your work in planning and carrying out a lovely evening. We hope you enjoyed a good fun evening. Remember now to stay on track with exam preparation, reviews, and assignment completion. Congratulations to the graduates recognized Thursday evening at a special ceremony. They received the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarships. You are to be commended for your hard work and commitment over the four years. Your names were printed in the graduation program for our own ceremony June 5th as well as being recognized Thursday night. So congratulations. We have a group here that's going to join us. We have our four out of the five students. Come on over. Okay, move over, right? Even more. So right here, we have the stalwart workers for our breakfast program. Outstanding and quiet work that they do. We could not do it without you, right from September to now. So thank you. We have our educational assistants with us. We have uh, Mrs. Spadafora and Mrs. Mason, who, uh, two EAs who are not here with us, but who also help out with the breakfast are Mrs. Shepard and Mrs. Murphy. They come in very early on and they help the students with the program. Thank you so very, very much. So we have just a little thank you for Sarah and for Serena and for Evelyn and for Elaine. That's right, they do uh, certainly deserve a lot of uh, uh, applause and a big thank you from all of us. Remember that the dedication and hard work uh, that we also keep in mind, Natasha Vliepman, we keep her, we continue to keep her in our prayers. She has a very dear memory to us. Big thank you to Mrs. Vesprini Duart for her leadership in securing funding and donations, and with Mrs. Siapana in supporting the program and our students, and of course, our uh, cafeteria and kitchen crew that's in there, also to make sure that the support is uh, substantial. We could not do it without you, can't say that enough, so thank you so very, very much. It's really appreciated. Also want to send a big thank you to our CHS TV crew under the direction of Mr. Trabuco, another, another activity. Another activity that starts in September and brings us the most up-to-date news and uh, makes sure that we got photos and videos all on track to give us the, the news every day. Always consistent, reliable, resourceful. Thank you for a fantastic year, for all your hard work and your dedicated commitment. Have a great day, Cathedral. But just before we go, just a, a reminder to those graduates who have donated the uniforms, and so now you're wearing civvies, 
A reminder, the civvies you're wearing have to be in keeping with the guidelines, has to be respectful clothing and attire. And also you should have with you at all times the permission slip because any teacher can ask you for your permission slip to be wearing the civvy. So please save yourself any grief. Make sure that that is always on the ready. But thank you so much for the donations. Have a great day. Back to the anchors. Thanks, miss. Beginning Wednesday, you will be able to view your next year's timetable beginning on your phone, tablet, or computer on the Path to Success website or the HWCDSB app. Please be sure to review your timetable. Grades 9, 10, or 11 students must have 8 classes on their timetable. If you need a timetable change, counselors are available now and during the exam period to assist you with your changes. Students are reminded to return all books to the library as soon as possible. They must be checked in before the start of exams next Thursday. Thank you from Ms. O'Brien. Today after school, all current members of the Gill Guides will be taking their yearbook photo. Please meet in front of the main office after dismissal. All student acts participating in the year-end assembly must attend the mandatory dress rehearsal taking place today after school. If you have any questions, please speak to a student council member. To all members of the G junior and senior boys rugby team, a reminder that the team hoodies and t-shirts are in. The items can be purchased from Mr. Dav Davis during period 4 and room 305. Additionally, team wear is in for the girls rugby team. We see Ms. DiBiazzi at the end of the third or beginning of fourth to pick it up. Standing monies are needed as soon as possible. Now I'll pass it over to Mr. Tribuco. Good morning, Cathedral. I'd just like to take a couple of minutes to thank the CHS TV news crew for putting on the morning announcements every single morning. Yes. <laughs> Even when I was on my paternity leave just before the Christmas break, the show ran smoothly thanks to the hard work and dedication of the crew. I'd also like to thank the administration for their support, particularly Mrs. Cannon, who over the past five years has helped us become the show that we are today. Now there are many students who work both on screen and behind the scenes, and sadly, today I'm here to say thanks and goodbye to six of them. I'd like to call up Eric, Matt, Monica, Nicole, Ivan, and Kareem, who's in the other room, so I know he can hear me, so he better come out as well. So come on up, guys, please. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so Eric, Matt, Monica, and Nicole are all off to McMaster University this fall. Uh, Eric is studying business, Matt is studying engineering, Monica is in social sciences, and Nicole is studying medical radiation sciences. Both Ivan and Kareem are studying police foundations at Mohawk College in September. I'd like to thank them so much for their time here at CHS TV News, and I wish them all the best in the future. And since they are all in Hamilton for post-secondary, I expect them all to come and visit. Okay? So that's it for me. I'm going to leave it up to these guys to end off our show. You guys can do it. Right. Those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gail. And thanks for watching.